Mike Perlman here for InfoSync World, and if you're a business user, you're going to want to look at this review. It's Sprint's Motorola Expert, and this phone has a 1 gigahertz OMAP processor. It's very quick. It also runs Android 2.2 and Moto Blur for staying socially connected. The screen on this phone is a 3.1 inch HVGA screen. It's not the top of the line screen, but it gets the job done. Also, we have a full QWERTY thumb board on the bottom of the phone that's kind of like BlackBerry. And as I like to say, this keyboard is really only applicable to those who have tiny little elf fingers. In terms of portability, the Motorola Expert is about the same height and width as the iPhone 4, though it's about twice as thick. This phone has a volume rocker, 3.5mm audio jack, USB terminal, and it also has a custom button on the side that brings up the calendar as default. In back we have a 5 megapixel camera with dual LED flash that surprised us with a very good imaging performance. It also has a robust set of manual controls for a phone and face detection. I was very impressed. Videos are recorded at 720 by 480 widescreen VGA and the quality is also on par with the images very good with this phone. For battery, the Motorola Expert has an 1820 milliamp hour battery that lasted for quite a long time. It lasted for days on standby and a full day of phone madness including calling, push notifications, texting, and internet browsing. Call quality on the Expert was good. It wasn't the best that we've heard before. Certain calls exhibited a tinny nature and some blanketing white noise but for the most part the Motorola Expert was a good caller. This phone has full enterprise class security and data encryption which is great for your IT department for remotely wiping or restoring a phone and altering passwords. For memory the Motorola Expert comes with two gigabytes of internal storage and a two gigabyte micro SD card in a slot that can house up to 32 gigabytes. So now it's time to see how much of an Expert the expert really is. Welcome to the Motorola Expert Tour. And let me remind you, this is a world phone, so you could use this in hundreds of countries, roaming, data. So it's very versatile in that regard as a business machine as well. Android 2.2 here, Moto Blur. So Moto Blur gives you things like feed updates, and uh, I'm not signed into anything, but this is a contact widget. It's very widget oriented. There we have our weather and our power controls. Let's shoot over here. There are all of our messages, um, calendar, upcoming events. Um, there are our Facebook friends, and we also have tweets there. So it's very good for staying socially connected and having things fire at you all at once via push notifications. We have seven home screens here, classic Android drop down menu there. Let's check out our applications here. DNLA as you can see. We also have the full Google Suite, Gmail, and Talk, and we have Maps. There's also the Android market, and it's worth noting that this phone can do a lot of things that the more powerful and more expensive entertainment smartphones can do. It can handle 3D gaming, and uh, it's just a super versatile, super quick phone. And when we talk about speed, I mean, just look how quick that thing is. It is just like the Roadrunner and Speedy Gonzales on a three-day Red Bull binge. Friends, Romans, countrymen, what is my InfoSync diagnosis with the Motorola Expert? As a business phone for Sprint, a premier business machine, the Expert is a great option. This will definitely suit the needs of companies far and wide. As a standalone smartphone, the Expert also is a great versatile tool. It's wicked quick and actions transpire lickety split. This phone also has an excellent battery life and the QWERTY thumb board is fairly versatile. Although the screen is not a fancy QHD and we're kind of light on memory out of the box, the Motorola Expert proved itself as a fantastic all-around smartphone and one that I would actually consider going for if I was a Sprint customer. For the entire Motorola Expert review, be sure to go to InfoSyncWorld.com. Until next time, I'm Mike Perlman. Stay safe out there.